The Traco Vario P tubes are pre-mounted on a minimally traumatic insertion system. For the placement of the tube, a silicone sleeve compensates the gap in diameter between the inserter and the tube tip. The sleeve is attached at the guiding catheter. For the Traco Vario P tubes, the expert dilator and the guiding catheter are removed after the tracheotomy so that only the guide wire remains in the patient. Introduce the insertion system with the Vario tube with pre-mounted guiding catheter onto the guide wire. Bring the tip of the insertion system to skin level using the safety stopper of the guiding catheter. Visualize the mark at the end of the guide wire. Start the insertion vertically and place the tube in a controlled movement until the neck flange reaches skin level. Hold the 15 millimeter connector, not the adjustable neck flange as this is adjustable, with two fingers and remove inserter, guiding catheter, and Seldinger guide wire. While pulling the insertion system out, the silicone sleeve automatically flips over and can therefore be removed. Inflate the cuff of the tracheostomy tube, disconnect the ventilation tube from the ET tube, and attach it to the 15 mm connector of the tracheostomy tube. The position of the tracheostomy tube is confirmed via the ventilatory circuit using a fiber optic camera. In addition, another fiber optic assessment is carried out via the ET tube. If necessary, correct the position of the tracheostomy tube during the checkups. Then, lock the adjustable neck flange by pushing the orange lever upwards. The cuff of the ET tube is then deflated, withdrawn, and removed under control of the anatomical structures. The ventilation parameters must then be adjusted. Place a dressing under the neck flange and fix the tube in place with the neck strap. Now the cuff pressure should be checked, for example with the aid of a handheld manometer. It should be between 20 and 30 centimeters of water. Alternatively, our Traco Smart Cuff Manager can be connected for continuous monitoring and regulation of the recommended cuff pressure.